Hi, I'm former MLB player Jermaine Curtis, and today we're going to talk about how to take a throw from the catcher when a guy is stealing second base. We've been having an issue here. As you can see, I'm giving you a compilation right now of the problems that we have been having, and I'm going to share with you what I shared with them. Okay, so right now on the screen, you'll see my framework. This is my framework on how to take throws from second, whether you're playing second base or whether you're playing shortstop. Now, the first place we start when it comes to uh, taking the throw from second is actually at your position. For this example, I'm going to go at second base because majority of the time second basemen are the ones that are taking the throw. Okay, so I'm going to go to second base. Now that I'm here at second base, what we need to talk about is communication for this example we're going to say that the second baseman is going to get the throw what i see with our second baseman and a lot of second basemen is that they try to protect all the second base and be able to get the throw now a lot of you guys don't have that experience yet so you have to choose you have to choose whether or not you're going to get the bag or you're going to fill the hole and for me as a manager i want them to get this throw because if we got a fast guy that's going to steal the bag and we're all the way over here, we're playing too deep, we're not going to be able to get to the bag. And so that ball is going to get thrown in the center field and he's going to also get third base. And we're going to talk more about that, but that can't happen. So I would rather that we get closer to the bag, which that's what you should do, get closer to the bag. And then as that guy steals, now you can go and start making an adjustment on whether or not the throw is a good throw or a bad throw. And the higher you go up though, you can start playing a little deeper because the guys throw it more accurately to the bag. But at your level, I would say play closer to the bag, not being this close obviously, but I would say play closer to the bag so that you can be able to adjust on the throw. We cannot give them third base. We cannot. As middle infielders, we have to block that ball. If that ball bounces, we need to be diving for it. We need to knock that ball down. We cannot give them third base. Let's just say, for example, there's nobody out or it's one out and he steals and then we don't block the throw. We've been seeing it several times with my second baseman and shortstops that they throw it and it's a one hopper and they're so late that they can't make the adjustment to catch the ball and the ball goes to center field and now we just gave them third base now we have to do infield in with less than two outs and so basically we just gave them a run so our job here as middle infielders is to protect that bag so with that said we need to be closer to the bag okay not super close where um it's just not where you're like this, obviously. We need to be where you're able to get to that bag in time so you can catch the throw, okay? Or make an adjustment. So now we're back to the bag, okay? Now, a lot of coaches teach this, and I don't agree with this because what's gonna happen is most of your throws are gonna be inside here, right? And if you get stuck here, that ball's going to, you know, you're going to basically have to jump out of the way or you'll fall over because you can't catch the ball because you're stuck to the bag. A lot of times we make um, issues here is because we get stuck to the bag. We feel that we have to be right on the bag. My advice and what I believe you should be is here. Now, a lot of people say, well, he can, you know, slide to the outside. That's one of the downfalls to being here. But the best part about this is that if you do get the throw, boom, you can tag and lay it right there. Or let's just say that there's an issue. Now you can go here and catch the ball or, you know, you can get in front and block it so that the ball doesn't get out there. We cannot, as middle infielders, we cannot let that ball get to the center filter. You have to do whatever you can to knock that ball down. You got to keep that ball in front of you so that runner stays right here, okay? We got to give our outfielders a chance to throw them out. And if he's right here, we can keep him close. We could have, you know, if we're playing second base, we can keep him close so that that gives us a chance on the base hit to throw him out at home plate. But if we got infield in, that just gave the hitter an advantage. That just boosted his average up 100 points. They say that when it's infield in, your average goes from, let's say you're a 250 hitter. Now you're hitting 350 because there's so many holes because you're so close. We can't give him that opportunity. So we're going to get in front of the bag 
and if it's a good throw boom we got them okay lay it right in front of the bag i i think right in front of the bag the umpire is right here he's going to be able to see that and uh, he's going to call you out call the guy out now if it's a bad throw you're able to make that adjustment now get off the bag make the adjustment catch the ball or if it's a bad throw in the dirt you're able to get block that ball so that you keep the runner right here and that right there is how you do it okay i want to thank you guys for watching i'm former mlb player jermaine curtis hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions drop them below i'll answer them thank you and i'll see you in the next video